The kickoff before the kickoff. And let's rock. So I'm Wild will kick it away. Sal will have it first. And he works his way out to the 31 yard line. These first possessions are always big. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see uh, what they can do on all. This is where you get all the momentum. If you're yep. Sal and you can go down, get some points, especially a touchdown on offense, it's going to set you up with tons of momentum because points, especially touchdowns, are hard to come by here in Madden 18. Another thing I need to call out, Coltrane, is these jerseys that the Jaguars hook these players up oh, with. Are yeah. Custom jerseys with the name on the back. Jaguars with the swaggy colors. And you're, if you're if you're a Shut Jags out. fan, one thing you're going to notice with Vegas Sal, he's got Miles Jack as his tied in, and that's what you can do in Ultimate Team. I mean, you're the GM, you're 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 putting all these guys together, so you're going to see some Miles Jack playing both ways. Yeah, what these players like to do is, since you only have that 750 cap, you need to save cap wherever possible. So they'll get an athletic, fast tight end that has hands and then have them play Iron Man, both offense and defense, and put them at the tight end position so they don't got to spend that cap on a real tight end. Uh, n not my favorite move, but it's a smart move. It's very strategic. Not something I expect to be in the game the entire year, but for now, it's the right way to go. Checks it down on second down. He's going to go hurry up here on third and 11. Vegas Sal is in the black color rush, and the teal is I'm wild. Good pocket. Goff looking downfield, finds Paul Richardson. That's not going to be enough. Picks up five, and he's going to have a decision here, and he's going to go for it, fourth and six. And tell the folks that are just coming into the pavilion here why they always go for it on fourth down. Well, you're going to see a lot of people get aggressive on fourth down. It's because we're only playing five-minute quarters. The game is so short. You need to get more aggressive. It's not like a 15-minute quarter game where you have time to set stuff up, establish the run. No, nah, you need to get it done, and you need to get done, get it done in a hurry. And I've had NFL coaches verify that for me. If they're playing five-minute quarters, they get more aggressive. Even the man John Madden himself told you that. And there is Ross. He's going to pick up wow. the first down. Golf already three for three, and they're out to the 46-yard line. Oh, that's one of those play calls, Coltrane. If it works, fine. But if it didn't work, it would be questionable. Throwing a screen pass behind the first down marker, very risky. Nonetheless, Sal liked what he saw and executed. Big first down. You can see those average possessions there. You, you get pretty much half compared to what you would find at college football or here in the NFL. Literally cut in half, which yep. speaks to why you need to be more aggressive with those possessions. They're so important. That's Christian McCaffrey, son of Ed McCaffrey, the former Stanford Cardinal, works his way for six yards. Pass midfield now right there at the Jags logo. Of course, we're going to have a Jag legend stopping by today. Going to join us in the final game. Got some giveaways here locally at the stadium, so that's going to be an awesome time once we finally get to the finals. It's going to be wild. I'm telling you, RG, you're going to be moments away from kickoff. You're going to have the, the Jags and the Seahawks about ready to, to play out there at 430. It's going to be wild once we get to that, that final game. Corner route to Miles Jack, and he can't hold on. And here comes another huge fourth down, fourth and seven. That's one of the problems. You put that linebacker at a tight end, you do run the risk of him being a little less consistent yep. than a real tight end right there. Miles Jack can't hold on to it. Paul Krause also in the vicinity to help break it up. But he gets himself in another fourth down. And Um Wild is known for defense. This is where you could expect Wild to stand up for himself and get some momentum with a stop. Let's see if Sal could answer, though. We continue the driver where I'm Wild put him in a box. Golf throws across his body, and there's the legend. Andre Reed from the Buffalo Bills will move to the 36-yard line. Look at it again, RG. Yeah, and he is just going to playmaker Reed over there to the sideline on a big fourth down conversion. Gets seven and then some. Sal just converting and executing when it counts right now. You saw Ed Reed. I'm wild was going for the big hit stick, but missed Andre Reed. That's a new set of downs at the 36 now. Three minutes already gone by here in the first of semifinal number one. We're live here in Jacksonville. An incredible game day atmosphere. Wild run defense that showed up. Four rushes for negative four yards. And then a scream! 
Coming right up the middle is Ryan Shazier. Of course, our thoughts and prayers with Ryan really Shazier. Through that gap. Shazier, one of the best Madden linebackers in the business. One of the best linebackers in the NFL. Like you said, thoughts yep. and prayers. We all saw what happened to him during the game. Well, they got some good ones here in Jacksonville, some young ones, especially Telvin Smith. Oh, my goodness. He, he's, he's quite a Madden head as well. We've had him. We've had him out in L.A. to play a little Madden. And it was Lesney, Fowler, Jack, Calais Campbell, Bouye, Ramsey, Church. Saxonville isn't messing around this season on defense. Yeah, we're in the middle of Saxonville. Third and 23, and really Vegas Sal is the one right now who's in the middle of Saxonville with a nice blitz there by I'm Wild. Big down. If you're Sal, you got McMahon. If you want to get about right there to about the 35 30 yard line to get a field goal range. Throws it to Reed. He pulls it in at the 46. They're on the plus side. So that makes it fourth and 20. And we might see the unicorn of Madden a punt. Former unicorn of Madden. <laughs> because we should say Madden 18, like we talked yeah. about, especially in salary cap mode, is a very defensive game. It's more defensive than Madden has ever been. So you've been seeing people actually get their boot out. Uh, when punting the ball because you need a fight for that field position. It's that important. Here comes the punt. He has his kicker in there, McManus. So who, Lord only knows how far this one's going to go. It's going to go to the 10. Wow. He's got room. He's got room. Some stick work to the outside. No! Puts it back on Thompson. And gets to the 32. Nice return of 20. Yeah, that, that was scary right there for Sal, huh? Wild in the open field. We know he's got some stick work. Makes a defender miss almost on his horse. Big tackle by Sal. Let's take a look at it, the offensive playbook for I'm Wild. After this play, as Vic, it's that West Coast offense. Vic's got a scramble a bit, Billy, that's absolutely bananas, but this time he uses his arm. The interesting thing about this West Coast offense if you're at home and you're looking for an offensive playbook, three of our four competitors here today are using that offensive playbook. Sal's in the Kansas City. Good pocket. Playbook had some time, couldn't get rid of it. That's going to push him back across the 50 to the 43-yard line. So all of a sudden, it's second and 19. It's wild in the single back spread formation. We saw Tweez run this formation very effectively at the Madden Classic. Was able to make the final four before losing a hard-fought game to Skimbo. Of course, up in the Bills Good championship, we saw point spread really use Michael Vick, the Michael Vick experience, to get that win up in Buffalo. And Wild using him a little differently. He's sitting here, standing in the pocket, waiting for his guys to get open, a drop from his receiver. But, again, Wild completely tanked that receiving core. He doesn't have an elite receiver in the bunch. Finds J.J. Nelson at the 42. So he makes it fourth and manageable. Needs five yards, and perhaps the last play of the quarter. See Sal running that cross three fire. A lot of people run those cross three blitzes. The linebacker comes in at an awkward angle, and it also allows the DN to get one-on-one -on -one with those tackles so he could block shed somebody. It's a very popular defense in competitive Madden right now. Yeah, that's one of the things he talked about, loving that Kansas City playbook. Get the 3-4 get the out there and be able to cross it up. So quarter number one is in the books here in Jacksonville. We're in semifinal number one. We have a rosy and Scarpness in semifinal number two. That's really the battle of the, the, the hometown, the hometown heroes. Oh, that's going to be fun. In semifinal number two. And you see, we're already, we're already done with the first quarter, like you it's said, Coltrane, fast. and it's yep. that fast. We're still in the second possession of this ball game. So that speaks to why you see these guys get aggressive for it on fourth down. Unless you're like Sal and you get yourself <laughs> in a, a fourth and a million, then you're probably better off punting the ball. Little delay to hurt Ooh! Walker. Nice spin move down to the 18-yard line. He's in the red zone. Yeah, Wild's going to need to get Herschel Walker involved. This is his best offensive weapon besides Mike Vick. As you can see, gets him in the open field. And Herschel won't even just only truck you. He'll spin on you too. Big first down right there from the Wild one. Of course, Georgia and Florida play their annual game down here. Watch the pitch. And right on cue, Walker 
ekes out two more yards. It'll be a second and eight from the 16. Yeah, if, if, if competitive players, when you see that single back, tight doubles type formation, uh, you know that you got to watch out for that pitch. And those single back type formations, people love to motion the receiver, flood three receivers on one side, let them lead the way and block on that pitch. Sal, good defense on it right there. Bunch to the left. Vic has him. Rid of it. And there is Anderson in the end zone. And I'm wild. The man from New Orleans strikes first. Dun, dun, uh. Bond. I can't you've help been, myself. I've been doing singing, it all day. You've been singing that for the last three hours. But you know, he he got a stop on the first possession, got the ball, went down and, and scored. That's what that's what it's all about. Hey, when born to be wild, they're cruising on the highway. He's cruising down the field. Way to just get the force out to punt the ball and then capitalize on it. Get yourself a touchdown. You get the ball at half. All kinds of momentum right now for Wild. Sal is going to need to make a comeback here. You look at this replay corner route wide open right over there. That's the team of the week. Robbie Anderson, just 79 overall. Hauls it in for the first touchdown of the day. That's one of the things that you'll, you'll notice. It's all about these pre-snap adjustments. You saw this guy's so quick on the inputs pre-snap it's almost like a chess match second and five here on the hurry up i'm not a huge fan of the hurry up rg but maybe you saw something and he goes to miles jack the talented jaguar from ucla picks up the first down yeah and he likes it you might not like this hurry up but it seems like sal sees something he likes and he's running to the line Trailing by a touchdown in plus territory now. He goes to Christian McCaffrey, who should have won the Heisman that year. Look at the little hand cam right there showing some of those adjustments. Like you talked about, that's one of the biggest things in competitive Madden is how fast can you make the adjustment, adjustments that you need to make on defense before the offense hikes the ball. You know when you watch the Patriots play and you see Brady hurry up to the line <laughs> yep. and quick snap him? People are constantly trying to do that to you in competitive Madden. So on defense, you need to be quick when it comes to making those adjustments. And one wrong adjustment can end up in giving up a big play. Second and two. Inside zone for McCaffrey most likely. And that should take us to the two-minute warning. Seems like the strategy right now for Vegas Sal is, I want this to be the last possession of the half. I'm going to go down and score. Yeah, he could be going that route, but right now I think his mentality needs to be, forget about the clock. You have plenty of time. Make sure you go and get points. Don't think yourself out of this situation. You're already in trouble. The most important thing is focus at the task at hand. Get yourself a touchdown. Bring yourself back in the ball game. Picks up the blitz, but throws Work. it into coverage. And all of a sudden, I'm wild is in business as the legend. Rest in peace, Sean Taylor coming up with a big play. And look at Sean Taylor break on that post route immediately. Jumps in front of Reed, and that is bad for Sal. Wild in complete control, and you're seeing why right now he was the favorite to win this tournament. He does not mess around on defense. That's that mutt master, Sean Taylor. The guy you got to grind it out, RG, to pick him up. Another but pitch. it's worth every solo. Ooh! And there's Walker. At the two-minute warning, we'll take it to the 47. And re remember, I am Wilds going to get the ball to start the second half. So if he can go up 14 here, Vegas Sal is going to find himself in quite the predicament. And you talked about Sal controlling the clock. If anyone's going to go into clock control right now, I believe it's going to be on Wild. If he could just take this minute and 50 seconds away, get himself at least three points, make it two possessions, and get the ball at halftime, he's going to be in phenomenal shape to advance to the next round. Little pitch to Herschel Walker. Boy, you talk about lopsided trades. We already talked about, you know, Carlos Stanton going to the Yankees. What about Herschel Walker? He was with the Vikings. Somehow find, you know, finds himself with that trade with the Cowboys. That ended up setting them up little, for, for, a, for a long time dynasty run. Little fleecing. Yep, when they were able to ship him off to Minnesota. He's also not a bad MMA fighter. You ever see Herschel Walker get in that octagon? 
put a put a hurting on you. He has amazing memory. I I met him about seven years ago at a Clemson game. He was on the sideline, and I, I then saw him three years ago out in L.A. at the NFL Network because he was doing like a you know a show out there or something. He was like Scott Cole from Greenville, South Carolina, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sharp guy. Yeah. <laughs> They say he still does what a thousand push-ups or something oh, a day. Oh my goodness! Whatever age, absolutely true man's beast. man right there. And he works his way to the 32. And Sal starting to use those timeouts right there. He only has one left, and there's only 58 seconds. So a pretty balanced offense thus far, especially for I'm Wild. Seven rushing plays, six passing plays. He's got plenty of timeouts here, RG, to do some work from the 32. This is a big first down, though, right here for Wild. If he gets this first down, he can make sure Sal will not see this ball um, again in the second quarter unless Wild was to score. Shazier spins his way to the 27, and Vegas Sal will lose his last timeout here on fourth and two. And so I'm Wild will have a 44-yard field goal. Wants to hit this. Perfect. And Bryant right down Main Street, and the lead is now 10 for I'm Wild. He gave Sal 50 seconds here. He's got 50, no timeouts. If he can go down and at least get three, keep this one possession, he can come out in the second half, play some tight defense, get himself right back in the ball game. What you need to be careful not to do is force another turnover right here, get an aggressive trying to get downfield to that field goal. Well, we've seen some big kick returns here in the club championship. But I'm Wild smartly just pooches this one toward the sideline. So ball at the 33, no timeouts for Sal. He's trailing by 10, and I'm Wild gets the ball to start the second half. Here we go. The Jacksonville Jaguars fans starting to pile in Hell here. Yeah. You should see this one guy. He's got an axe with a Jaguars mask. Yeah. He's suited up, ready to go. Yeah, the, the J Axe Man in the house. The Jax Man. I like it. They got a lot to be enthusiastic about. You know, it's been about a decade since they've had some meaningful games this late in the season, and they're a team to beat right now in the AFC. Oh, you are not in a rush to play the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. That defense is scary. Golf, under 30 to go, and the half has a man. Ooh! Andre Reed is going to score. Touchdown, Vegas Sal. And we got a ball game. And Wild does not look happy about that one. With only 22 seconds left in the half, Sal stands up for himself, says, we're going to make it a ball game. This isn't going to be a thrashing. Get back on your toes, Wild. I'm here to battle. So a three-point game now. 22 seconds before the end of the half. And this one goes off the helmet. And I'm Wild will run out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Take a look at this again, RG. It's an absolute bomb from golf. Look at this pocket presence. Steps away from the pressure. Let's one rip. Rack catch means he's running after he gets the catch. Did that by pressing the X button. And that is huge. It is hard to move the ball in Madden 18. So if you can get a big play like that, man, it takes a lot of pressure off of you. There goes Michael Vick. Well, you got to be careful, Vick. Couple moves to the 25. Still has three timeouts, 13 seconds left. And that was a dippity dot, that's what we call it in Madden, between Paul Krause and Sean Taylor, two of the biggest secondary players in the game. Vic now throws it toward the sideline, and Ross gets out of bounds at the 41. Yeah, Wild kind of making it happen right here. We got a ways to go to get in field goal range, but he still has those three timeouts. Yeah, I mean, he has got 87 Matt Bryant, that's his kicker. From the Falcons, so he's going to have to. It's going to have to be a chunk play here, and still, either get a timeout or get out of bounds. Bunch to the right. Anderson is solo to the left. Michael Vick in the gun. Sal looks like he's in some man-to-man -man defense here. Vick has time. Got to get rid of it, and he will not. And that's how the half will end. I'm Wild comes out and scores ten unanswered. But Vegas Sal uses a big play from golf to Andre Reed. We are live here in Jacksonville, and we'll be back for the half number two.
first job? First job, I worked at car dealership. Uh, my first job was I was a telemarketer at a local place, so I was calling all along the East Coast selling newspapers. So clearly people were happy to talk to me. <laughs> my first job was Burger King, and I only worked there for 10 days. My first and only job was at Wendy's, and I worked there for about six months, and that's when I learned I'd never work a nine to five again. Washing cars, cleaning a lot, Cutting grass. The first job I ever had was playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think it was this one. This is my first job. The NFL is my first job. And uh, I don't take it for granted. Cutting weeds, pulling weeds, putting up fences, putting gas in cars. It was a long time. My first job was actually in college. Uh, I was 20 and I worked at the YMCA. My first job was uh, babysitting my kids. You know, uh, just dealing with them on my own. So I said, that's a job, man. Football. My mom told me as long as I do good in school and play football well, I can uh, just pretty much do that. So that's what I did. Back here in Jacksonville, you can see the guys getting ready for Seahawks Jags. And you can get involved on social media. Hashtag Jaguars Club Championship out on social. And here's the first half highlights between I'm Wild and Vegas Sal. And RG, it was all I'm Wild early. Yeah, when you see him on fourth down, throws a big corner out on fourth and five. That's in traffic. It could have went either way. Sal not happy about it. And Vic with an absolute strike to Anderson, and that got I'm Wild, the man from New Orleans, on the board first. Look at Wild keeping his composure. He's a little, usually a little more animated than that. That was a big play, the big pick. They end up setting up a field goal by Matt Bryant. Interception by Sean Taylor, one of the legends in the mode. That's one of the cool things about Mutt. You get to use those old school legend players. And how much did Vegas Sal need this one, RG? And speaking of legends, Andre Reed gives him everything he needs because he was in trouble, but then you respond back with a big play touchdown like that. Wild doesn't look too happy about it. We got ourselves a ball game here in Jacksonville. Welcome, folks. We're getting ready to start the second half here of the Jaguars Club Championship. Scott Cole along with RG, and let's take a look at those keys once again. Yeah, so for Vegas Sal, he's done a good job containing Mike Vick. Not too bad. And for Ron Wild, you got to bring the box. His favorite saying is, it's a box. And that's what he's referring to when he's playing tight defense. We saw some of that earlier in the game where he forced Sal the punt on his first possession, got the interception uh, later on to force a turnover, and he's in control of the game. He needs to keep that box in full effect. And you can see him busting out the hand warmers, you know, just get those hands a little warmed up here for the second half. Hand warmers are fantastic. And I'm Wild will get the kickoff, and Sean Taylor will take it to the 32-yard line. He's got a three-point lead and the ball. Winner of this one will play the winner of Arosi and Scarpness, two guys that grew up only about 20 miles here from yep. the stadium. Yeah, for, for those in attendance, the winner of this event will represent your Jacksonville Jaguars in the club championship against the 31 other teams to see if they could bring the Madden Club Championship trophy back here to Jacksonville. And the way things are in Jacksonville right now, that might not be the only trophy they're bringing back here. There's only a prize pool of $1.15 million if you need. It's a little more motivation here on second and 10. Vic. Looking downfield, has time, trying to get out of the pocket. And explain for the new folks out there on, you know, they're out there on jaguars.com backslash Madden watching this. We got some folks starting to, to file in here. This is a salary cap mode. So you see Michael Vick, you're going to see Miles Jack playing tight end. It's really like 
a GM mode where you get to pick your players underneath a certain salary cap. Yeah, there's this huge pool of players from all the teams, past legends, and you got to pick and build your team with those players as long as they stay under a, sal a certain salary. Each player has a salary assigned to them, and that's what these guys have done. They have crafted their own teams to play here in this tournament, which is why you see guys like Michael Vick, Andre Reid, Herschel Walker, all types of legends. And we also have folks hanging out on Twitch, getting those Twitch drops, YouTube, and Facebook. Three-point game here, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Room. It's to Herschel Walker. The former Bulldog will spin his way to the 39. Yeah, and Herschel is getting going on the ground. That's one of the big differences in this game so far is Sal has not been able to run the ball at all. I'm wild had a couple big runs for at least 10 plus. Herschel once again this time gets to the edge. Nice little hesitation and jukes his way to the 21 yard line, knocking on the door to the red zone as I'm wild. Look at that Grizzly, man on a mission right there. One of the top yeah. Madden personalities, tons yeah. of charisma. Well, he was there in the final four in Madden 16 out in Los Angeles. He'll hand it off to Herschel once again. If it's not broke, why fix it? It's Woo! Big juke on Earl Thomas the third. Sorry, Seahawks fans. And this is Herschel Walker doing what he does. When you got a good running back like this, you can often make the first defender miss, which Wild did right there. He was in the red zone. Now he's in the dead zone, the 10-yard line. It's toughest 10 yards in Madden. And a nice job there on the interior defense, holding them to a gain of one. And we know this is important right here for Wild. If he gets hold to a field goal, this is still only a one-possession ball game. Touchdown makes it two possessions. In these short five-minute quarters, being up two possessions is the only time you can really feel somewhat comfortable. Wild knows that this is going to be a big next couple plays for him. And sometimes in Madden, you only touch the ball five or six times. Second and goal from the nine. I'm wild in the teal. Vegas Sal is in the color rush, the all black. Good stick. Ooh. Looked like he had the hole. I said good stick, but the stick worked just a little bit off right there. Needed to just, you know, not run into that block or he would have been in for a touchdown. Wild finds himself in a big third down. Look at that practice area right there back there, huh? Yeah, we got the practice really cool. behind us. They're getting the kids area. There's some bouncy houses. I'll see if they let me in. <laughs> I, th I, th I think I'm only like 150 over the over the weight limit for that. There we go. And he hands it to line, the big fullback, and he will walk in for six. That's a big drive right there by Um Wild. Goes up two possessions, puts the pressure on Sal, trying to represent these Jacksonville Jaguars down there in Orlando. Zach Line is one of the cheapest cap guys you can get. Ten is the minimum. But he gets him six points. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of a practice squad player yeah. getting into the game and making something happen right there. So now a 10-point lead here in semifinal number one. We'll play three games today. We'll also have a Jaguars legend join us for the finals. He's going to jump into the booth. He's well, going to have some giveaways. Yeah, give some stuff away from the awesome fans. Look at this touchdown. You see your boy line. Uh, but shout out to all the fans here in attendance, right? Coming yeah. through from their tailgate and coming yeah. to w watch a fantastic event. They're getting pumped yeah, up. We're feeling it. Heck yeah. They're going to get a big win today over the Seahawks uh, starting at 430. You can feel this atmosphere here in Jacksonville. They know that they got something special going yeah. on this season. We're just excited to be here today and be a small part of that. Yeah, they got a lot of young players too. They got future looking bright here in Jacksonville. And Vegas Sal, down 10, got to make something happen. Christian McCaffrey with only 13 yards on nine carries. It's funny, too. You see A.J. Bouye yeah. on Twitter, and he's calling out the Madden guys. He's <laughs> tweeting at Dub Dot Dubbies, saying he might get back on the sticks, but he's a little too busy right now winning football games. Yeah, absolutely. Save that for the offseason. <laughs> Second and 10, Goff hands it off to McCaffrey. And this time, his biggest gain of the day, 
Gets into plus territory at the 47. A gain of 13 for McCaffrey. Yeah, 10 rushes for 26 yards. He's had trouble getting him going so far. But that's encouraging if you're Sal. Well, I'm wild. Spent a lot of his salary cap on defense. So you got, a, you got some goons coming down there making some plays in the secondary on the running game. Goes up under center now in first and 10. Got to be thinking seven on this drive. And McCaffrey will fall forward for three. So second and seven. You can see the play selection there. Vegas Sal, very balanced while I'm wild has been going to the rushing attack with Herschel Walker here in the second half. That's Andre Reed, the legend from the Buffalo Bills, takes it down to the 32-yard line. So all of a sudden he's in field goal range. And you see Goff's numbers there. Only eight, he's 8 for 10, has the one interception, but when he's been passing the ball, not so bad for Sal. Back to McCaffrey. Doesn't get a block. And there's Ronnie Lott. You're talking about the legends on this defense for I'm Wild. Ronnie Lott comes down there and lays the wood. Yeah, he has Paul Krause, Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, and Ronnie Lott. The real versions, too, not like those lower overall. Oh, yeah, yeah, these yeah. are the real goon versions of those mud items. He's basically got the uh, half of the Hall of Fame <laughs> in his secondary. Third and three, ball at the 25 as the third quarter is starting to tick away. Play action to McCaffrey. Quick throw, and there is Ross, the speedster from the Bengals, down to the five-yard line. And it might be time to put your fours up here in Jacksonville. And semifinal number one, we're headed to the fourth quarter. Wow, that's a really good first three quarters, huh? <laughs> Not, not a game. bad way to start the Jacksonville Club Championship. This is a close game. I can, I'm looking at Sal right now, too. He looks locked in. He is dead serious. See Wild on screen right there. By the <laughs> way, we got some youngsters hanging out here. Next year, Madden 19, anyone can enter this. Anyone can play 16 and older, right? Yeah, 16 and older. This is the first year they switched the age limit to 16 years old instead of 18, and we've already seen some of the young bucks qualify Make a nice uh, chunk of change doing it as well. Spoto's going to be in the Madden Challenge next week. He's guaranteed himself $10,000. I believe he's a sophomore, junior in high yeah. school. You know, know how much I would have been swagging in high school? I had 10, <laughs> extra 10 grand. I was trying to get 10 bucks. I was out there mowing lawns, doing, firing up the weed eater. Not anymore. You could do it playing video games. Second and goal from the six. Bunch to the right going to audible once again. Play clock under 10. Pistol formation. Counter to the left. No nope. play action. He takes off with Jared Goff. Boy, has Jared Goff got a big <laughs> game out in L.A. It's Eagles and Rams. Some big games. Not only do we have Jack Seahawks here, big games around the league today. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. Did you see that Sean Taylor item rally down and stop <laughs> Goff on that scramble? He was not having any of that. Third and goal from the six. Good pocket. Can't force it. He's going to take off again, and Jerry Goff will get into the end zone. Way to fight for Sal's cash. Jared Goff puts his life on the line on the scramble, takes the impact, gets thrown into the end zone, and we got ourselves a ball game in the fourth quarter. Sal down by three. How's Wild going to respond? Huge drive right there by Sal. Tip plays, 59 yards, just over three minutes. And we got four minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Just a three-point game. Both guys with three timeouts remaining. Sean Taylor spins his way. He's going to have it at the 32-yard line. Look at this again, RG. And it gets stingy here in the goal line. Sal says, you know what? I'm going to try to do it with Goff. Could have fumbled. Not the greatest read, but when things go your way, why not? And look at Sal. He's pumped up. And that awesome Jackson ja Jacksonville Jaguars jersey. Those are nice. Carried Anthony Barr for the Vikings into the end zone. Michael Vick, 7 of 9 for 108 for I'm Wild. Got to use some clock here. A touchdown would pretty much almost put this thing out of reach. Val just trying to 
Sal's trying to hold him to a field goal. And, and Wild had an open receiver right there. Vic just sailed one on him. That's a little frustrating to deal with if you're Wild. Swings it outside to J.J. Nelson. Ew! Puts him in the spin cycle to the 44. Good spin right there by J.J. Nelson. Catches the ball. Immediately puts down some work. Whoopsie! <laughs> Big play right there by Nelson. Did you get a little Chris Berman on there? Is that what... What was that? Remember Mortal Kombat back? Whoopsie! <laughs> well, I'm Wilds trying to finish him here with three and a half to go. Vic will roll to his right. Throw deep to Nelson! Wow! And it's a bomb for six here in Jacksonville. Oh, Ma Wild makes it rain with a bomb to J.J. Nelson. Makes it two possessions again. And right when Sal gets himself back in the game, Wild continues to answer. Punches him in the mouth. Back in control. Three plays, 68 yards. The connection from Michael Vick to Nelson. And the lead is back to 10 for I'm Wild, who came in here as the favorite all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. Take a look at this again, RG. It's a dippity dot for six. Look at this poise. Rolls out with Vic, gets some space, and then lets that throw power do its work under pressure, throws it over the DB. Man's born to be wild. And look at Sal. He is disgusted. He knows that's painful. That's going to hurt. You need to get back on your horse and answer right here, Sal. A little swag there at the end, too. Diving into the end zone. Keep in mind, both of these guys have live event experience. So you see them both being able to answer the pressure over and over again. Um, I believe that comes from their experience and not letting the big, the crowd and the lights and everything yep. get to them. Both these guys in their career have won high five figures playing Madden football. Yes. Second and ten. It's a good point, Scott. Jared Goff in the gun. Three minutes to go in this one, trailing by ten. Motion across the formation. Doesn't have time. Screaming off the edge as I'm wild. Wild screaming. You got you to gotta think. He, maybe he pass commit right there. When you pass commit, you press the left trigger up on the right stick. That means your defenders aren't going to bite on that play fake. You saw that DB blitz go right after the quarterback. Good defense right there by Wild. Third and 19. That's a long way to go for Sal. 30 seconds before the two-minute warning. He's got to get rid of it. It's a box. And this time it's cash. Fourth and 28. They call it a box. I'm Wild's the one that coined that phrase because you, you feel like your offense gets in a box and you can't get out of it. And it's not it's a box. It's, it's a box. It's a box. It's a box. And that's where Wild's got him right now. He's bringing the box out. Fourth and 28. Can you stand up for yourself, Sal? Or is Wild going to walk away? Sometimes, to the next round. Sometimes in Madden, it's easier to get fourth and 28 than it is fourth and Scream! one. It's a double blitz right up the middle, and Shazier got there first, and I'm wild. We'll take over at the 15. It's a Jared Goff sandwich. And look at this replay. We call this screaming. The defense is hollering, screaming. They are on the quarterback's butt right after the snap. And when we talk about it's a box, that was the box right there. Don't give the quarterback any room to breathe. Looking like the real Jaguars defense out there. Two-minute warning. Ronnie Lott was also in there as well. And you're about to see a heavy dose of the legend, Herschel Walker. Former Bulldog, Heisman winner. <laughs> What Wilde did right there, too, is he went to his coaching adjustments and put the ball carrier adjustment on conservative. What that means is his ball carrier won't break very much any tackles, but he probably won't fumble the ball. But who needs it when you got stick work like that? No need to break tackles when you can just run and outstick somebody, huh? Herschel Walker close to the century mark. And that's an, a 20-minute game of John Madden football. Third and three. A first down here would pretty much put this game on ice. Yeah, the other thing we should mention, though, it's not like the NFL. There's only a 30-second play clock here in much salary cap. So in the NFL, it's 40 seconds. Yep. So you get them to the two-minute warning, no timeouts, he can end the game. It's a little bit different here in salary cap. Pitches outside of Herschel Walker. And he gets cut down at the 10-yard line. And there's another timeout by Vegas Sal. Ed Reed on the hit. If you're wild right now, you just got to make sure this field, if you go for the field goal, you got to make sure it doesn't get blocked. 
Because a lot of time when these field goals get blocked, they go the other way for a touchdown. Is there anything to gain by going up 13 here? I know you forced no, out to get two No, that's a good question. If, if I'm wild, I'm considering not kicking this field goal. And he Keep actually jumped. Up. He jumped over there to the left. Oh, he's going to run the fake wow. one. Wow. Scum. Scum. Ew, hurdle. Oh. <laughs> wow. We call that a scum play. He completely got him off a of guard. You think you got me? Vic's going to take the ball and just roll out here and get vintage, put the game away. That man's born to be wild. The very <laughs> Well, it's time for my favorite formation. It's the victory formation, and I'm wild. It's going to move on to the finals. Came all the way over from Louisiana to play in the club championship here in Jacksonville. And now we got two of the hometown favorites coming in here in semifinal number two. You got a Rosie and Scarpness. A Rosie, 20 miles from the stadium. Scarpness, only 4.7. He could have. Yeah, these guys. A short Uber. These guys are local Jags fans, the diehard Jaguars season fans. Ticket holders. Former season ticket holders. Make sure they go to games every year, and they are excited to be here. That is going to be a fantastic battle. They got family and friends in attendance watching them on, and they got a grizzly waiting for them in the finals, the winner of that game, and I'm wild because he's the real deal. If I'm Jacksonville, I'm not too mad if I'm Wilds the one representing me because that guy is going to give you a good chance to go ahead and bring that club championship home to Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm Wild was in the final four of Madden 16. He's had some success since then, too, and he's going to bend the knee here in Jacksonville, and he's going to get the W. And although it's a little cold, we're going to see some good sportsmanship. Round of applause here at Daly's Place here in Jacksonville in the shadow of Everbank Field. And that's a pretty good one. Pretty good way to start off the club championship. I'll, I'll tell you what, Scott. I'm really feeling the crowd element of this event. Yep. They, they're, they're clapping them up. They're hyping them up. They're bringing a great atmosphere here. And there's the handshake between Wild and Sal. A couple old Grizzlies talking it over, sharing some... Madden stories. Let's take a look at the second half highlights in this one as I'm wildly able to shut them out. So we're going to go here.